Welcome to Hollywood Access. Kardashian critics accuse Courtney of lying and never shopping at Target after she promotes Lemmy at popular store. Such a pinch me dream come true moment. Critics have slammed Courtney Kardashian for promoting her Lemmy brand at a popular retailer. Courtney, 44, celebrated her partnership with Target on her Instagram page. In the photo collection, the Kardashian star donned a fur coat and covered her eyes with black sunglasses while carrying a handful of Lemmy bottles. As the collection continued, the Lemmy founder posed next to the brand display in one of the store's aisles. Kourtney Kardashian's latest business move has sparked controversy, sending a wave of accusations and skepticism rippling across social media. The reality star and entrepreneur recently celebrated her brand Lemmy's expansion into Target stores nationwide, but the jubilant Instagram post triggered backlash from critics who questioned the authenticity of her connection to the budget-friendly retailer. Under the caption, such a pinch me dream come true moment, Courtney shared a series of photos flaunting her presence at Target. Dressed in a luxurious fur coat and chic black sunglasses, she posed playfully among the shelves, clutching a handful of Lemmy bottles like prized trophies. In another shot, she proudly stood beside the dedicated Lemmy display, a Target shopping cart adorned with her brand's logo serving as her prop. But not everyone was swayed by the staged photo shoot. Critics quickly took to the comments section, casting doubt on Courtney's genuine connection to Target's aisles. Come on, Courtney, wrote one user. We all know you haven't set foot in a Target since your push days selling Mason's outgrown clothes. Another chimed in with, this entire post reeks of inauthenticity. You and your multi-million dollar lifestyle don't exactly screen Target shopper. The accusations went beyond mere cynicism, however. Some users pointed out discrepancies between Courtney's image and the reality of Target shoppers. Target runs are about stocking up on diapers and groceries, not posing with designer sunglasses and fur coats, remarked one commenter. This feels so out of touch with the average person who shops there. The criticism highlights the age-old debate surrounding celebrity endorsements and their perceived disconnect from everyday consumers. While Courtney may genuinely believe in the accessibility and inclusivity of bringing Lemmy to Target, her personal brand image, built on opulence and exclusivity, clashes with the down-to-earth, value-conscious perception of the retailer. The Lemmy Target deal is undoubtedly a strategic move for both parties. Target gains access to a sought-after celebrity brand, while Lemmy taps into a wider, more mainstream audience. But the backlash serves as a reminder that consumers are increasingly savvy and skeptical of marketing tactics that feel inauthentic or out of touch. Whether Courtney's target foray is a genuine partnership or a carefully orchestrated marketing ploy remains to be seen. Time will tell if the brand resonates with target shoppers or if the accusations of fakery leave a lingering taste of distrust. Regardless, the controversy demonstrates the complexities of navigating the intersection of celebrity, luxury, and the everyday realities of mainstream retail. She carried a Target store basket while strutting across in black high heels. As the collection concluded, the Hulu star walked out of the store with a Target bag. It was on our vision board for what I wanted for this little company before we ever launched. Such a pinch me dream come true moment, Courtney captioned the post. Kourtney Kardashian's latest promotional move might have landed with a thud instead of a bang. The Push founder and Lemmy founder sparked a fiery online debate after celebrating her brand's launch at Target with a series of Instagram photos. While the post aimed to portray Kourtney as an approachable, relatable star mingling with the masses, it instead triggered a storm of accusations about inauthenticity. The photos, carefully curated for maximum impact, showed Courtney sporting an oversized fur coat and trendy sunglasses while clutching her Lemmy bottles like precious jewels. She posed against Target shelves, flashed a smile beside the dedicated brand display, and even pushed a shopping cart adorned with the Lemmy logo. But instead of gushing approval, the comments section morphed into a battlefield of skepticism and snark. Girl, don't act like you go to Target, scoffed one user, their comment dripping with sarcasm. Courtney's worth 65 million, another chimed in, their tone harsh. I don't think so. You don't shop at Target. 
The criticisms piled on, each one chipping away at the carefully constructed image of Courtney as the every woman browsing the aisles. Cringe, one user remarked, summing up the sentiment of many. Like Courtney would ever set foot in a target willingly. The accusations went beyond mere doubt, venturing into territory that exposed the class divide often present in celebrity endorsements. People would only care if I shopped at Target if I had a photographer and makeup team, another user quipped, highlighting the performative nature of Courtney's curated experience. The backlash wasn't just about Courtney's perceived disconnect from the average Target shopper. It also touched upon the growing fatigue with inauthentic marketing tactics. It's the classic I'm in Target right now pose, someone pointed out, their voice weary of staged brand deals masquerading as genuine moments. Courtney's Lemmy Target partnership wasn't inherently bad. Bringing a celebrity-backed brand to a mainstream retailer holds potential benefits for both parties. But the execution, critics argued, betrayed a fundamental misunderstanding of Target's core audience and their values. Instead of bridging the gap between luxury and affordability, the campaign reinforced the image of celebrities existing in a bubble far removed from the everyday realities of their fans. Whether Courtney's target run was a well-intentioned blunder or a calculated marketing ploy remains open to interpretation. The reaction, however, offers a valuable lesson. In an age of savvy consumers and heightened awareness of inauthenticity, celebrities and brands need to tread carefully when attempting to connect with audiences through relatable experiences. True resonance comes not from elaborate photo ops, but from genuine understanding and appreciation for the diverse realities of their consumers. You are out of touch. Please figure out a marketing concept for once. In early January, the former E. Star launched her partnership with Target. For Lemmy products are selling at $3.0 a bottle. The Lemmy Purr is a probiotic for women, while Lemmy De Bloat Gummies aid with digestive woes. Lemmy Glow is for hair, skin, and nail growth, and Lemmy Chill Gummies work to reduce stress and food cravings while improving cortisol levels. In September 2022, the U.S. Sun obtained documents that suggested the TV star had filed a trademark for the vitamin and supplement brand on February 19, 2022. Lemmy hit the scene for the public to buy in September 2022. Courtney's target post came after she and her husband, Travis Barker, 48, welcomed their first child, Rocky 13, at the start of November 2023. Since welcoming their new son, Rocky, in November 2023, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have become masters of the disappearing act. The once ubiquitous reality TV queen and Blink-182 drummer have retreated from the public eye, shrouding their newborn in a veil of secrecy that has sparked both intrigue and speculation within the Kardashian-verse. Gone are the days of Instagram stories overflowing with family gatherings and paparazzi candidates capturing every street stroll. Rocky's existence remains largely confined to the private sphere, a stark contrast to the high-octane reality show fanfare that has defined the Kardashian clan for over a decade. Reports paint a picture of a fiercely protective couple soaking up every moment with their new arrival, prioritizing intimate bonding over public fanfare. This desire for privacy reportedly extends beyond the couple themselves. Sources close to the family claim that even close relatives have been met with the cold shoulder when requesting to visit Rocky. The Barker Kardashian clan, usually notorious for their boisterous gatherings and relentless documentation of life's every detail, has adopted a family-only policy when it comes to their newest member. This tight-knit circle excludes even Courtney's own sisters, Kim and Chloe, who, according to whispers, are yet to meet their nephew. However, the motives behind this media blackout remain shrouded in ambiguity. Some speculate it's a genuine desire for precious, undisturbed family time, a chance to forge a unique bond with Rocky away from the glare of the spotlight. Others hint at a more strategic reason, suggesting it's a calculated move to generate public fascination and potentially secure a lucrative first photoshoot deal. Whatever the motivations, the secrecy surrounding Rocky is undeniable. Courtney, once the queen of sharing, has opted for radio silence, offering only the occasional cryptic photo on her Instagram grid. 
Travis, usually glued to social media, has also maintained an uncharacteristic restraint, leaving fans hungry for a glimpse of their newest family member. This unprecedented shift in behavior has fueled the rumor mill, prompting questions about the reasons behind the closed-door policy. Is it genuine protectiveness or a carefully orchestrated PR stunt? Only time will tell whether Rocky's nursery doors will eventually swing open, offering the world a glimpse into the Kardashian clan's newest chapter. One thing remains certain, baby Rocky's arrival has ushered in a new era for Courtney and Travis. Whether it's a temporary hibernation period or a permanent shift towards shielded family life, the decision to keep their son out of the limelight marks a striking departure from the Kardashian playbook. Leaving fans and onlookers Gleitermassen with one burning question, when will we finally meet baby Rocky? Thank you for watching.